Good morning! It's actually 7 o'clock and I am starting my vlog right now. I'm already done with my shake, my tea. Just uploaded a video, did a lot of work. And I'm gonna, I was going to go clean my house. So I thought, oh, why not start my vlog? And it's a pretty, pretty crappy weather. You can see it is raining outside. It is very dull. It is very boring. And I mean, on a Friday, you don't want rain because you feel like going out and doing so much of stuff. So, um, yes, it is the weather is very bad. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, happy Friday, guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. And it's almost weekend. And it is a new month. New month, new rules, new goals <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, let's go uh, meet Marvel. Marvel! Good morning, good morning. Marvel, are you the cutest boy in the whole entire world? Are you the cutest boy? Are you? Are you the cutest boy? Here, look over there. Marvel, see? There. Marvel. Marvel, do you want some treats? Here. Marvel, see? I love you. I love you. Anyways, <laughs> he's also very lazy to do anything because of the weather and everything. So let's start cleaning. I also have to clean up my fridge. I told you I think in my previous or the previous vlogs that I have to clean my fridge I did not do it till now and also you guys can see I have uh, written over here make pickled onions I need to make this and keep it in my fridge uh, because today we're gonna go for grocery shopping and all this stuff so I'm gonna get uh, all the ingredients for my salad that I'm gonna eat and I need pickled onion for that so I did not even make that oh my god I have so much work to do so yes I'm also gonna make that today but for now, let's start cleaning. So I'm here to clean my bedroom and it is light. I mean, it's so dull outside that I literally had to switch on the light. It's 10.30 in the morning and I had to switch on the light inside my house. You want to see how it looks? See, it is guest up right now. I mean, it's so dark. So I'm actually switching on light and cleaning my house. So let's get this started. I'm finally going to throw this today because I'm not going to stick it anymore. Okay guys, so one very nice trick is that if you want to, like you always wash your clothes in your washing machine and all this stuff but you never clean the washing machine. And the best way and simple way and the cheapest way to clean it is just in an empty uh, washing machine what you want to do is just take like half cup or one cup of uh, or one cup of all-purpose cleaner vinegar or just normal vinegar and pour it in the uh, washing machine switch on the hot mode let me show you just switch on the hot mode and on a light cycle and uh, let it clean let it clean it up uh, and like just switch it on and and that's it your washing machine is gonna be absolutely clean it's gonna smell good and then you can uh, just wash your clothes i mean just do it once a month and that is enough yeah that's a good trick i am back i took bath cleaned all the cleaned the entire house it's shining right now it also smells so good and 
what do I have to do? I just have to do a little bit of dishes over here. And this was like a breakfast and tea, that's it. And then uh, I don't know what we're gonna have for lunch. Let's see what I have for, uh, leftovers. I think, yes, I do have some leftovers, I'm gonna see. And also today I have to clean up my fridge for sure. I'm gonna do it after lunch. I'll show it to you guys. And, and yeah, let me just start doing the dishes and then make lunch. So for lunch, I have very le little left over, like little bit of dal over here and very little bit of rice. So what I'm going to do is make mix this and heat it up. And on the side, I'm going to make e one one panini for each of us with some uh, basil pesto and pepper jack and tomato and onion like how we made it last time. You guys already know and saw it. So that is why I'm going to quickly make it, have lunch and get back to work again. Okay, I have everything ready. My breads, I've chopped up, sliced actually onion and tomato right here. And I'm ready with the spices and everything that I need to put it. So let's start. First thing, hold on, let me get a spoon. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna take some garlic powder and sprinkle it on the slices I will definitely do a recipe for this sandwich because it is so good and I want you guys to try it it's just like so good Now I'm going to spread some basil pesto sauce. And then, now, I am going to place some onion. And now I'm gonna sprinkle some salt a little bit. Add chili flakes. I'm taking out two slices of pepper jack, one slice for each of the sandwiches it's gonna like tear it apart and place it here we don't have mozzarella that's why we are using a pepper jack cheese right now but if you have mozzarella go ahead use mozzarella and a shredded cheese two slices of this is sharp cheddar and this cheddar is like so thin you can see how thin it is okay now that my press is ready I'm just gonna spray a little bit of oil here Butter, sorry, this is butter, not oil. I'm just gonna keep the pani sandwich. Spray some more butter here and just press it. Okay, so this is ready. Oh my god, look at this beauty. You see how good, and you see the what is it called? Panini lines? Panini. And now I'm going to do the same uh, for the other one. Just and ready. It's that simple, very delicious. You can see. 
Do try it, guys, and let me know. And if you like the sandwich, comment in the section below if you want to try it. And I will definitely make a recipe for this. And now I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. Okay, guys. So I have taken out. You can see my entire kitchen is like full. The entire counter top. I've taken out everything from the fridge. Except for like uh, this area because this is very tiny. I'll just clean it up later on. And right now, I even took out the the fridge mats that I placed it. That that's like always in always in my fridge. So I've taken them out. I'm just wiped clean them clean. And I'm with a paper towel. I'm just cleaning up the entire shelves. And I'm gonna do the same over here. You can see everything is empty. I'm just gonna clean up all the things. And then check the expiry dates of everything here and then start arranging them but for now uh, let's continue cleaning wiping actually okay so you guys can see that I removed all the mats and they all are wiped clean absolutely I mean there's no stain or anything in the glass and I did not switch off the fridge fridge while cleaning because I was just gonna clean it really quick it, it was not something that I was it was gonna take like two to three hours so that is why I did not switch off the fridge and everything is cleaned. I also cleaned this up and just kept everything back again because this is something that always stays here. And yeah, and now I'm going to start placing back the fridge mats. So I got these fridge mats from Walmart and you can literally get in any departmental store I think so like, uh, I don't know, like Target or Publix. But I got it from Walmart and these are in those sections. Uh, wait, let me remember which section. Mm, these are, these were kept in uh, which section were these? A baby, baby one? You can put it in the kitchen section itself, like, or the, the liners. Walmart, like liners and curtains and mats. And yeah, so they were in those sections where you can find uh, liners and mats and all those in the kitchen section. So I got them from there and I it comes in a roll so I got the entire roll I came back home measured my uh, every countertop like every slab every shelf of the fridge and then I cut it according to that and that is how I placed it so that's why you can see it in different sizes like this is one size and this is a bigger size kind of that this way your uh, shelves don't get dirty very fast and uh, even if the food falls you can just take this out clean it you can even wash it and then dry it so it's very easy and it's a very good way of keeping your fridge clean so let me just put this back in the fridge and i'm going to show you what all things are in my fridge what all i keep personally we love it so i'll show you that and then we'll get back to arranging everything and how i arrange and where i arrange and which category is where kind of thing so let's start now that all the uh, fridge liners are here in here lined up properly you can see they look super beautiful and also super clean you can uh, actually go and select the color that you want for your fridge because there are so many options and you can just play around with the colors according to your fridge and then now first thing before putting back everything in your fridge very important thing very important rule is that you have to check the expiry dates of all the things before you put it back because once you put it back you don't want to go and again pick up every single bottle and check the expiry date and then throw it and then rearrange it because once because if you do it in the first place the it will be very easy for you to see how much how many things are there and what all where and where you want to keep them so first of all let's check the expiry dates of everything and yeah super tired but let's do it i am done sorting out and yes there are stuff that came out uh, that have expired so let me show you like this is the these are the things that have expired my some red tomato a brand new ketchup like this is sweden's uh, sweden uh, what sweet chili sauce but we were out so we couldn't use them and this and all this and this like these are the things that have expired so i'm gonna throw them and these are all the things that are perfectly fine which has an expiry date like 2020 2021 so they're perfect cheese and curry uh, golden curry eggs and everything i recently got these eggs and i have some parsley and cilantro in them so they are also perfect i think they're also finished some tomatoes and onion and uh, avocado 
some apple here, uh, extra walnuts. So yes, these are the things. So this is my personal way how I love doing all these things, and I feel that this is very uh, it's a very efficient way of organizing your fridge and uh, trying to remove all the extra thing that you don't want i mean the expired thing not the extra thing not that you don't want to have this in your fridge because i love keeping my fridge full and getting so many things because we love food and all that stuff so yeah i love to have variety in my food in my fridge <laughs> so that i can make uh, different variations of food so yeah that is it and let me quickly show you what all i have here that i'm gonna place it in my fridge so let's start from here. First things first, I have two bottles of water that I keep it in my fridge so that they're always cold. I have my Herbalife aloe that we take every single day. Some wine that I drink in the evening because I love red wines. Tell me which is your favorite wine. Some uh, lemon juice and I have some butter, salted and unsalted for baking and this is for the normal. So I have some rose water right here and this is kebra water this I use for biryani yeah there you go these are tiny bottles and they last so long like I bought it three four months back and still have still here I have some vegetable better than bullion vegetables uh, base and some buffalo wild wing sauce this is in garlic parmesan flavor this is Asian zing I have some brand new ginger garlic place that I always have it in my fridge and then I have sun-dried tomatoes. They are Julian cut tomatoes olive, uh, mixed in olive oil and Italian herbs. I got this from uh, Sam's. No, yeah, I got this from Sam's. And this is like so good if you want to make pasta or bruschetta kind of thing. Some cashews. I have some sofrito that I haven't used till now like ever. But I'm going to try and make some good recipe with this. And then again some more ginger garlic paste is almost about to finish. Like just last bit is left some heavy cream because I love making uh, because I have a YouTube channel cooking YouTube channel and I need to keep all the things at home if I want to make something someday like any day some parmesan cheese some pickles right here bread and butter pickles some raisins and this is organic mayonnaise from Trader Joe's I love love this mayonnaise some Perrier water and this is Panera Bread's Caesar dressing. We love this and we also love the Green Goddess one but we couldn't find it at any uh, like grocery store. Some basil pesto sauce, um, spicy brown mustard and this is a new brand that we, when we came back from India we recently saw this. This is Patak's or Patak's I don't know how you, what you call it uh, brand and this is like a sauce for butter chicken curry. And they have like so many other curries like chicken tikka and madras curry and so many other things. So we have to try this. And I have this arabiera spicy marinara sauce. We, I, try, I tried it for the first time and I loved it. So like, it's literally like almost going to finish. And then I have roasted garlic, uh, roasted garlic parmesan sauce. It's our favorite from Prego. And then vodka sauce one, vodka sauce two because I'm in love with vodka sauce, pasta sauce. And then ragu four cheese, and we have this uh, Szechuan chutney sauce. We got this, this from Chings. We got this from Patel brother when we went last time. And then some tamarind date sauce, some flax seed, rose water. Again, I use it for biryanis and other dishes. Some dry fruits. These are mixed nuts, like train nuts. Some tomato ketchup, almost finished. Some Maggie hot and sweet sauce, chocolate syrup. This is Marvel's pumpkin. This is a face pack that I made today. Like, uh, uh, this is the face pack uh, that has um, what is the thing that it has yogurt, it has turmeric, and chickpea flour. So I've been using this for my these pimples over here that I get sometimes. So I'm just using that for just to cool it down and to reduce the redness and everything. And let's get back to showing you the ingredients. Okay, over here I have this um, Greek yogurt that I use for my granola bowl or with some fruits and all that stuff. And this is the normal yogurt that we use for raita or cooking or some of those things. I have some pistachios, little bit of dates. I think they're almost over. There is there this empty box. And some walnuts. And these are sliced almonds. I have to refill them. 
I have some blueberries here that I use for my pancakes or waffles or yogurt bowls kind of thing. Yeah. And then I have some uh, whole wheat dough over here. Some pepper jack cheese. This is uh, sharp cheddar cheese. Hold on. Sharp cheddar cheese. And um, this is Kraft's Italian pipe cheese. And I have some strawberries here. I gotta check whether they are right or not. I have some green chilies in here, like lots of green chilies. Some Korean golden curry, they're the spicy ones, and like they're literally like the extra hot ones. We love it. And I have to throw this cheese. I forgot what cheese this is. I have some uh, habanero flour uh, lime tortillas, and French boucher bread over here, some cilantro and parsley, some eggs, and two eggs are in here, so I'm just gonna use them up. And two apples, tomato over here, and some avocado, and two or three lemons. That's it. So that's why we have to, and some ginger, I think, over here. So we have to go grocery shopping for like greens and veggies and all that stuff. You can see the ginger right there. <laughs> and these are the extra walnuts. So whenever uh, this container is empty, I just refill it from here. So, so tired. Okay, let me drink some water. So we got this new stainless steel straws from TJ Maxx. We showed you in our previous some of the vlogs. So good. And if you put co if you like um, fill cold water in your mason jar and you drink it, the entire pipes become so chilled, like so good to drink from this. Anyways, so these are all the things that I have in my fridge and I hope you guys love it and can see variety of different ingredients in my fridge and now the main thing is to arrange them in your fridge and the way I'm going to do it is, you're going to see right now how I do it. Okay, first of all, I take all the tall bottle, bottles like this and I place it here because this is the uh, tallest space other than these two shelves. So I place it here. One line, then choose. And aloe vera. So I also usually keep almond milk in my fridge. So whenever I have almond milk, almond milk, if it doesn't fit here, I keep it here because this easily goes in here. You can see something like this. So that is that. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna leave it here and leave this space because I'm gonna get almond milk today. So these are tiny bottles of uh, rose water and kebra water. So I just I just keep them here. They go in, they fit perfectly over here, so I keep them like this. And then I take like these sizes of uh, mayonnaise and pickle bottles and all that stuff and I place it over here. Because they are perfect height, it's easy to take them out and put it back, so that is why they go over here. You can see right here. Lots of sauce. Tamarind. And now I'm just going for the bigger bottles that I'm just going to place them over here. Ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste. And now the pasta bottles. They all go here. I like to keep all my pasta sauces together that way I know how many sauces I have, what are the varieties of sauces that I have and I can also see that which uh, sauces are finishing 
So I can get a new one. this space right here empty for my almond milk or my aloe like I'm just going to switch any of these and see which one fits here and now I'm taking like the tallest like like tomato ketchup and all that stuff and I'm just going to place them here so these are the regular stuff that I use daily not, I mean, yeah, almost daily that sometimes I want to make a different pasta or my lemon juice or wine or aloe or mayonnaise or tomato ketchup kind of things. Very useful things on a daily basis. I like to keep it over here. And then I still have some of the sauces left. Like I showed you the uh, sofrito, the paneer with Caesar dressing and some dried tomatoes, uh, buffalo wild wing sauce and all this stuff. So what I do is I got this tray from uh, Walmart and this is a refrigerator and freezer organizer you can see it right here yeah yeah so this and the size of this is it's 8 by 14 inches and 3 inches in depth so it's a good size for your fridge to go in straight and anything that you don't use on a regular basis you can just keep it here if you want something you can just slide it out and take the thing out so I'm, I always use this and I keep it over here because it has a bigger space right here you can see so I just keep it over here and I will just put everything here and show it to you okay you can see I've placed this tray here and I've kept like two sauces and then I'm gonna keep all of these also over here it becomes a little heavy if you put everything and then try to put the tray in so I just put the tray in first and I'm just keeping everything, placing them here according to the height so that it's easy for me to take them out. Okay, let me give you a closer look. So uh, these are all the sauces and everything that I'm here. Pasta sauce, normal tomato ketchup and I don't like to like stuff everything they're all very comfortable they can come out very easily anything from here and this is a space for marvel's milk that i keep we are out of it but we're gonna get it this saturday so i have this space always empty his milk and his pumpkin goes in here so this space is always empty for him and then i've organized this over here like the butter you can see and the sauces that I don't use on a regular basis so these are over here and they are also very easy to take them out I can just pick them up and bring them out so this is done right here and now see almost all of the I'm so tired almost everything is finished I'm just gonna place all these things now and yeah I'll show you guys it's Marvel's food his breakfast and dinner that I that we have to keep it in the fridge so this goes in here I have a specific place for him like this corner is entire his so that I don't have to always keep finding places for him where to keep it food because this is something that we give him daily and there has to be a place in the fridge every single day for this food so I always keep the, keep this space uh, permanent for him and also because then uh, there is no mixing of raw food with cooked food and kind of thing because he eats raw food so this is a very different space for him and a little bit is left in this container, so I'm just going to keep it here. It's going to come out like today in this container. And now, I always keep my uh, yogurt here in the first shelf, right here. Right here, yeah. Okay, now it's better. And both the yogurt goes in here. My dry fruits also stay over here. Right there. This 
container, I always keep the leftover onion and tomatoes. Like I have this uh, container uh, permanently fixed for this thing. Like when we make food or anything or salad, and because we we are not able to use the entire onion or tomato in a bowl, so we just cut it in half and keep it over here. So I I I can keep everything in here like uh, cucumber or onions or anything. So this place is here. Then I keep my all my kind of cheese, all cheeses, in this shelf, like this uh, tray right here. And I also keep the golden curry in here. And what else? Yeah, some extra walnuts also go in here. Eggs go in this space right here because this doesn't have like too much of space and this uh, egg egg basket or egg holders whatever you want to call it I got it from Walmart and they fit perfectly in this area and they hold like how many? 14 eggs in one basket in one tray and it goes perfectly over here so you can see it looks perfect it doesn't take any extra space and works in small spaces also these two containers is for one is for cilantro and one is for parsley. So I just keep it here at the bottom shelf in the corner. And next to it goes my this long container of bread. So it fits perfectly over here. Yeah. And my green chilies i put them right here and i have some fruits like i have some this is a blueberry i keep it right here and whatever fruit i have i just keep it right here like or in the fruit basket and now let's arrange the bottom basket or the fruit and vegetable basket two apples i'm gonna place them here in the fruit basket and these are some tomatoes, avocado and uh, lemon. I'm just going to place it here in the vegetable basket. And these are like all the empty, uh, these are like all the empty, hold on. Yeah, all the empty um, net thingies. I'm sorry, I cannot remember the name. I got it from Amazon and I got like, I think six, eight or 16 pieces and it comes in different sizes. One size is this and the other one i think is this is the longer one and the smaller one is this kind of thing like i got four of each so four yeah four of each so uh, they're empty right now but what i do is i usually keep all my veggies that i get uh, i open them from the packets and i keep it in this and this way my uh, baskets are always clean so i have them here i'm gonna go grocery shopping today and get everything so they are gone here and done. Yeah, I have this flower top here that I forgot. I'm just gonna place it here. And how many eggs do I have here? I just have two eggs. I'm gonna use this today, tomorrow, and throw this thing. So yes, my fridge is all done. Everything is arranged, everything is cleaned up. So let me give you one last closer look of the fridge. Everything is in here, you can see perfectly clean, arranged properly. And all the another things that I use daily are here. Then yogurt and some dry fruits and yogurt and everything is here because it's very easy to access and I use them daily. My eggs are here. I'm trying to find the uh, link from uh, Walmart and put in the description box below for these and also for the uh, net thingies. I'll find it on Amazon. I also got this bread box from Bread Keeper from uh, Walmart. So yes, everything was arranged properly. Nothing messy. This is Marvel's section. I'm gonna remove that box today because it's just about to be like just one scoop of food is there. I'm gonna finish it in the evening today for him. And done. This is how I arrange my fridge every time I clean it. And yeah. It's looking beautiful, it's looking fresh. And now that I'm gonna get groceries in the evening, uh, I can just arrange it 
and everyone and everything is gonna have their own place so yeah this is what I love and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my fridge organization and cleaning do let me know in the comment section below how you found it and will you be willing to try the way I did it because trust me you're gonna love it if you arrange your fridge this way and yeah and if you have a better way or something here and there if you want to do it different do let me know so that i can try it in my fridge organization next time so that's it for today guys this is done i'm super tired i'm done for today and i think not i think i'm definitely gonna end the vlog right now because it's gonna be super long and i'm very tired so bye bye guys and i'll see you in my next vlog bye bye